There's a combination of large biopharmaceutical companies and smaller biotechs that are working on either antivirals, which treat the disease COVID-19, or vaccines, which can one day hopefully protect against this new coronavirus strain. On the vaccine front, you have major biopharma players ranging from Johnson & Johnson to GlaxoSmithKline to Francis Sanofi, who are all trying to create vaccines. There's also smaller biotechnologies working on the same sort of development, including Innovio and Moderna. An antiviral might be further along in the development process, whereas a vaccine takes a much longer time to develop. So we need to make sure it's safe, and we make needs to make sure it works. That entire process will take at least a year and a year and a half. So when we hear talk about a vaccine's gonna be ready in a, in a couple of months, it won't be ready for being deployed. It's gonna take a while. The Food and Drug Administration has something called a compassionate use protocol, where in cases of emergency, a drug that hasn't technically been approved can still be given to people who are really, really sick. The biggest example of this during the coronavirus outbreak is Gilead's remdesivir, which was originally developed as a treatment for other forms of coronavirus that have occurred in the past, such as SARS and MERS. And so it's proven that it is at the very least safe and potentially effective, which is why federal officials have been willing to deploy this in the current coronavirus crisis. We should know within a period of a few months, several months, whether or not this particular drug works. If it does, the implementation of that would be almost immediate. Gilead's drug, Remdesivir, has already been used on a compassionate use basis across China, Italy, and the United States, specifically in Washington State, which has had the most number of fatalities related to coronavirus in the United States. Gilead's treatment may be making its way across the clinical trial process fairly rapidly, but we're not gonna receive more comprehensive data about whether or not the treatment works until at least May, according to the CDC. Gilead's stock has certainly been benefiting from all the buzz around remdesivir. However, it's a more open question how much revenue they will ultimately make if this treatment is approved by the FDA for widespread use, because Face it, there's going to be a lot of groups who say that this treatment should be available for free to anyone who has this disease.